Welcome back, my rainforest explorers. I hope your week has been going well and that you've been enjoying this virtual VBS. Again, things have been a little different, but I hope it's been good. We've had a chance to learn and to grow and to sing and to listen to the Bible stories and do some crafts, and, and we're not done yet. We have got more in store for you today and some more for tomorrow, so you just keep on pressing through the rainforest and enjoying your time. All right, I'm glad you're here. We need to start with a prayer, and then we'll talk about where we're going today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you even when life is challenging or when we don't feel well, that you are there and that your grace is there for us and that Jesus brings promise and blessing. So help us, Lord, be with us. Bless our day, bless our time, bless our learning, and help us, Lord, to then live faithfully as your people in thanksgiving for all that you do and the promises you have made. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, again, welcome back, Rainforest Explorers. This is gonna be another good day. We've learned so much already this week. We've learned about God keeping his promises just like he did to Noah. We've learned about the loving direction that God gives us, this loving God who, who shows us the way of how to live and gives us his commandments and all of the word of God so that we can have, where is it? I got one here. We've got the Bible and everything that he reveals to us and all that we can learn and know. And God is there and, and he loves us and that's great. But it's more than that. It's not just a bunch of things we're supposed to know and do. We learned yesterday about Jesus who is with us and, and calls us and invites us to follow him. He's our savior. And he is the one that is talked about here in the Bible. The Bible points us to Jesus and, and Jesus is with me. Wow, what a great truth that the God of the universe who came down into this world, the God who loves you and loves me, that he's gonna be with us, that's so great. But there's more and we're not done because we've got some more things to learn today. And that brings us to our point and our chant for today. Today we're gonna to talk about Jesus and how he heals us. In fact, your story is gonna be about that too, one of the great healings that Jesus did. And we're gonna learn a little bit from that. But what it means is for our phrase is that we're gonna say, Jesus is full of healing. So let's do that one. Rainforest explorers, Jesus is full of healing. Jesus is full of healing. Jesus leads the way. All right, I hope you guys were in the, you know, we're past the middle of the week. I hope you got the pattern there on how this goes. So you, I'm not gonna coach you the whole way through it. You should know this by now. But as we think about this healing that Jesus is gonna do and people who are sick and, and in terrible shape, and Jesus comes on the scene and he helps them and heals them, kind of reminds us of life in general. Sometimes life is hard and people get sick. We know that, that we are weak and sometimes we need medicine. Sometimes we have to go to the doctor. You know, sometimes people we know or love may even die from sickness and, and then they go be with Jesus, but we miss them here. It reminds me of a Bible verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It says this, We have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. It's kind of a tricky verse and it's a little hard to understand, but it talks about a treasure in jars of clay. The treasure is God's presence and God's promise and, the, and his Holy Spirit that's with us, but we're still really weak. Sometimes we get sick and oftentimes we need help. And so we have this great treasure from God himself but it lives in like a clay jar. Clay jars are not very impressive and they're not very strong. You drop them on the ground, they shatter into a thousand pieces. But nevertheless, these weak, unimpressive clay jars are filled with God's love and God's mercy and God's power and the Holy Spirit who lives in us and Jesus who's with us and all of these great gifts and promises that we have. And so that's an important thing to remember. The next time you might get sick, remember that Jesus is there and we can pray to him. We'll talk more about that at our closing. But right now, let's do a prayer and then we'll remind ourselves of our point for the day. You pray with me. Dear Jesus, you lead the way. Even when we are sick, 
and even when we need help. Continue to fill us with your treasure and help us to live as you want. Turn our eyes to Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. All right, my explorers, let's try this one more time. Rainforest explorers, Jesus is full of healing. Jesus is full of healing. Jesus leads the way. All right, I'll see you back here at our closing. Enjoy your time.